Welcome, friends. Welcome to another episode of The Pop Show. Um, and on the episode where we made celery soda, I had a bunch of people ask me if I'd ever had cucumber soda. Uh, and I have had cucumber soda. And the thing about cucumber soda that I kind of don't like is that it's overpowered with mint. Um, usually they put mint in it or basil. Um, I think basil is better than mint for my own personal flavor. So I thought, what can I do to use cucumber and sort of make it something that I want to drink. Um, in fact, to make it something that I want to drink. And one of the things that I really like cucumber in is gin. Um, and there's a particular gin called Hendrix um, that we have gone out with the people from Hendrix several nights where they bring out all of the flavonoids that they used, that they infuse into the gin. Um, and I've sort of taken a riff on that with what I'm going to do here. So first up is to juice some cucumbers. Okay, so I think two cucumbers gives us enough juice. Now, uh, over here on this side is a ton of cucumber pulp. And if you want to use that cucumber pulp in something, I would suggest making tzatziki. Um, we've got a recipe somewhere, a link to it somewhere around us, how to make tzatziki sauce. And I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but, but you know, I'm, I'm not Greek, so. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat on to this pot. I've put the juice in, and I'm going to turn the heat on to sort of a medium, medium high. We want to bring this up to almost the boiling point, but not quite to a boil. While that's coming up to temperature, we're going to deal with the other spices that we're going to put in here. Now, um, I'm modeling this after sort of the flavor profile of Hendrix gin, so obviously first in are juniper berries. Uh, and everybody should know what a juniper berry is. It's from the juniper tree, uh, mostly in the northern hemisphere fairly easy to get. You'll see it everywhere. Next up are kubeb peppers. Now kubeb peppers are related to black pepper. They're sort of the same. Um, they're from the same region, but they have a slightly different flavor than black pepper and Hendrix uses them in their concoction. And lastly, this is a uh, long pepper. Now long pepper is also related to black pepper. Again, slightly different flavor, slightly different oil compounds but I think it'll go quite well with the cucumber. So I'm gonna put that in. Now, I've put them into a small mortar and pestle and I just wanna bruise them or break them up a little bit. I don't really wanna grind them fine. I wanna be able to strain out the parts later. So this is just a matter of breaking them up to help release some of the oils and flavors. Okay, so we're gonna get this into the pot. I'm just gonna get a spoon. Uh, this is coming up to temperature nicely, and so you don't really want to boil it. You just want to heat it up so that we can steep these flavors together. So I'm going to scrape that in, and we'll give it a stir. And so you just want to stir it every once in a while as it's at a bare simmer, just below the boiling point. And after it's been there for a couple of minutes, move it off the heat and just let it steep for about 20. Okay, so this is steeped long enough. I have a fine, fine mesh strainer. And I just want to strain out the solids, get rid of all the little pieces of pepper and anything else that might be in there. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm going to pour that back into a pot. And I'm going to bring this up to just about a boil. Now, as this comes up to a boil, I'm going to stir in the sugar, and we just want to heat this until the sugar is fully dissolved, and we have a nice, even syrup. Okay, fully dissolved. So, I'm going to put this into this glass jug, measuring cup, see if I can do it without spilling. Then I'm going to stick this in the fridge and let it chill completely before we give it a taste test. I also have some cleanup to do. Oh no. 
It's it's got green floaty bits on the top. It does have green floaty bits on the top. <laughs> give it a stir. Give it a stir. Let's give it a taste. So I didn't add any citric acid to this yet because I want to add in acid phosphate at the end and see what that does for the flavor. Um, the green floaty bits. <laughs> oh. All right. So. The smell is not um, particularly inviting. Okay. I'm going to add acid phosphate into this one. It's sweet. It is sweet, isn't it? Yeah. And I didn't put that much sugar in it. I didn't put that much sugar in the, in the, in the syrup. And yet it's got a weird kind of, kind of taste to it. You say weird. You like it? Mm hmm Oh, there you go. Everybody's different, right? Everybody's different. Okay. Now taste that with the acid phosphate. It doesn't look very enticing around the top of the glass, does it? I told you mine had lots of floaty things. Okay, the acid phosphate helps even out that uh, flavor. Yeah. A lot. It kind of fills it in. As per usual, it fills it in, evens it out. I don't know that I would go for this one. No. No, so, I think the celery one was for me was much more appealing as a okay. Uh, I like traditional. I like this one because it tastes like melon. Oh, see, I'm not a big melon fan, so there you go. Like, maybe, I don't, maybe that's I don't, I don't maybe really that's eat it. a lot of watermelon, so. I like I like melon. It tastes like melon. I think are are cucumbers a melon? They're not a squash, are they? I think they're a squash. I will I put up. They're a squash. I will put up on the screen whether they're a melon. Or a squash. Who knows? They grow on a vine in I the garden. I think they're squash, though. Now, yeah. Since we're here. Oh, you're officially going to add the gin. Let's put a shot of gin in. Or, nice measure. Yeah. I'm not much of a bartender, am I? No. That changed the flavor, as it would. Let's see. Oh. It still has that, I, for me, it still has that finished flavor that I think is kind of pasty. I like that. Still tastes like melon. It still tastes like melon. It tastes like melon with gin. Now, I think Alvin, who is the Hendrix Gin Canadian representative, yes. should, should get in touch, Alvin. I think this is a winner. I think you want this one. A little bit of tweaking. I think a little bit more tweaking. Um, I like this very much. Okay, maybe, that's good. Maybe a little bit more pepper. I might put a little more, more cubeb in it just to sort of bottom it out a little bit. You may be on your own though, drinking it. Okay. I'll have the gin with something else, thank you. So, cucumber soda pop. It's a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. It's a thing and there it is. I agree to that. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.